Hi, I'm Alex, and today we're going to talk about wastewater. For this video, we're going to focus on municipal wastewater. So that's all the water that goes down your toilets, your drains, and your sinks, and everything that goes down with it. The water runs into sewage pipes and gets carried to wastewater treatment plants, where it undergoes a series of processes to remove solids and organic compounds before eventually being discharged into oceans and waterways. If you're interested in finding out more about these processes, you can check out the Water Corporation's website in the link down below. But what are we missing? How about pharmaceuticals? There's no doubt that prescription and over-the-counter medications improve our quality of life. But what effect do they have on the environment? Here's what you might not know. Anywhere between 30 and 90% of an oral dose of any pharmaceutical passes through your body and gets excreted in urine and feces. And people are disposing of unused and unwanted pharmaceuticals down the drain and down the toilet. Guess where it goes next? Wastewater treatment plants are not equipped to remove these pharmaceuticals from the water. So 20 to 80% of these drugs make their way through the treatment plants and get discharged into the environment. A German environmental agency reviewed about 1,000 publications worldwide and found that more than 600 pharmaceuticals have been detected in more than 71 countries. And what were they? Antibiotics, analgesics, anti-inflammatories, beta blockers, hormones, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, diuretics, anti-asthmatic, antidepressants, anti-neoplastic, <gasps> antipsychotics, stimulants, sedatives, and anticoagulants. And they're just the ones we know about. Remember, these compounds are designed to be biologically active. So what effect are they having on the environment? Take, for example, the common contraceptive pill. Its active ingredient is a synthetic estrogen. Scientists from the UK noticed that male fish began to develop eggs when estrogen was introduced into their habitat. Canadian researchers took it a step further and introduced synthetic estrogen into a research-like facility. The result was a near extinction of a species of minnow. And the population crash had a domino effect on the ecosystem. And there are consequences that we can't even begin to understand that come from what scientists are calling the cocktail effect. That's when pharmaceuticals with similar cellular targets act together. So what can we do about it? Firstly, we need to raise awareness and educate people about the proper disposal of pharmaceuticals. People need to learn that it's not okay to wash unwanted and unused pills down the sink or flush them down the toilet. They need to be returned to pharmacies where they can be disposed of correctly. We also need to educate people on the proper use of medications. The World Health Organization is already concerned with antibiotic resistant bacteria and how this could lead to a global human health crisis. Reducing consumption could help reduce the amount that we release into the environment. Secondly, we need to incorporate advanced treatment technologies into our wastewater treatment plants. Currently, they're just not up to scratch because they don't focus on the removal and the degradation of pharmaceuticals. So what do you think? Comment below if you have any ideas about how we can reduce pharmaceuticals in wastewater. Like and subscribe for more videos on the interesting side of wastewater. And remember, until next time, we also need to educate people Phone's ringing.